Katie. So today is Sunday, that means it's time for family movie night. And, th and this week we are looking at my final entry in my Lord of the Rings series. I have reviewed the animated film from the Ralph Bashkzy. I have reviewed uh, Fellowship of the Ring and uh, The Two Towers. And now we're looking at the Academy Award winning Best Picture, uh, Return of the King. And I did watch it in the extended edition for the first time uh, in this uh, rewatch. And I had actually only seen this one other time not when I was on my mission. I didn't get to see it until 2005. I really liked it, but for some reason I just didn't feel a desire to watch it all again and never felt desire to watch the extended edition. And uh, it was a little bit heavy on the battle scenes uh, for me when I first came back from my mission, uh, which is kind of a, a, a transition. <laughs> but. <clears throat> it was interesting watching in the extended edition. I think that this one is the most helped by the extended edition of any of the other of the three films because this one, I think most of the added moments are softer moments, are quieter moments between the hobbits. And so I think it makes that action more palatable for me, somebody who's just not into that kind of action. And so, I, I, I don't know, I just feel like it made it, the tone and balanced everything out so much better than it would have before. Now, there's lots of really amazing things about this movie. I think the last, like, hour and a half, which sounds crazy that that's only, like, a small portion of the movie, <laughs> but I think that last hour and a half is just about perfect. I mean, when S Sam is carrying Frodo up the mountain, you just, you're just cheering and you're so excited and they've done such a good job in the series turning Sam into the hero of the story. Something that the Bashki version, for instance, didn't do. And, you know, other, that was definitely an interpretive choice that they made, which I think really works and you're just so pulling for this character and Frodo just becomes more and more at the mercy of the ring, which is tragic. It's sad. And so to see uh, Sam just never giving up and just his pure selfless love for his friend and his loyalty, no matter what, is beautiful. <laughs> uh, it's one of my favorite scenes in all of film when he does that. Just be rid of it. Once and for all. Come on, Mr. Frodo. I can't carry it for you, but I can carry you! Come on! Really awesome special effects in this movie. I mean, they still hold up. They really do from 2004. They still look great. I, the giant spider, Shelob, he looks so good. And that scene when Frodo is there and you see him climbing up above him and then he gets out his big stinger it's like oh my gosh and you know then and then you see sam fighting this giant spider and it's really really intense i think it's a really intense moment you're like how the heck is this little hobbit going to be able to feed <laughs> this giant spider and you know this this stinger <laughs> and <laughs> All of them kind of led them there. It's just like so duplicitous and so like, oh my gosh. I also really like Mary and Pippin in this entry, their desires to fight and uh, defend what they believe is right. It kind of works when you think about the, the what they were saying with the Ents in the previous movie and to see the, kind of their, their journey and nobody wants to take them seriously. To see Pippin and his attachment to Faramir and see him get more and more involved with Denothair and and go and find Gandalf and get him to stop them from burning Faramir alive. Like that's some really, really strong, I think, acting and character development from those characters. Just such a moving story, that last hour and a half of trying to overcome this evil and trying to get that darn ring into the to, to destroy the ring and the fact that when they get up there and Frodo basically has like second thoughts because it's so powerful it's so strong and I think the just the way it ends is so beautiful and it just works and it it, it makes it kind of bittersweet as far as that ending it is true that this movie has like 12 endings 
but it's such an epic movie. I think it kind of justifies it a little bit. Like, I think we kind of need to say goodbye to all these characters and kind of see need to see where they're at and what they're doing and stuff. And at least I do. And so I kind of like that, actually. And I like Aragorn's journey in this one, you know, that he becomes kind of humble and he becomes, he sort of accepts his role in all of this as the king. He, he becomes kingly in this. And you also see Arwen and her decision to, when she sees the vision of her son, uh, that she decides to go and find her love. And I think that's really touching and wonderful and uh, wonderfully portrayed. And it's just, I think, very gripping and, uh, and epic to watch. <laughs> I can see why it won the best picture. I think it was really best picture for all three, not just for Return of the King, uh, but you know, it, it's a, uh, it, what are you going to do? Uh, the, some of the battle sequences, I don't know, get a little boring for me, kind of like with two towers. I had that same feeling. They get a little long, but I do like that the extended edition kind of gives a little bit more, I think, breaths away from that. Uh, and the one I didn't really like this time was Denothar. Like he was just too much. He was a little over the top. I thought he's always like eating stuff and like menacing and, <laughs> And I don't know, he's just so awful to Faramir. He's gonna burn his own son alive. And I didn't feel like I had gotten to know his character well enough to like justify that and like how awful he was. And uh, so another nitpick I have is I didn't really like the way that uh, Saruman dies in this. Like it, to me, you got such an epic actor with Christopher Lee. Like it was so like, like he falls out of the tower and he's just gonna, I don't know, I just, it seemed like the kind of death that you would give to like a soldier, you know, just like an everyday kind of soldier, not like a, an epic villain death, I felt like. I also, I really liked uh, Eowyn in this. She's pretty awesome. You know, she decides to suit up in the armor and defend her uh, her land and her family and I think it's really cool and epic when she you know pulls off she's she's confronted with uh, Sauron's uh, soldier or whatever and uh, and she just says I am no man and I think that's a really powerful awesome epic fun moment I like it and I, I am no man I really like having her in the movies. I think that she is a nice contrast to Arwen. And uh, I don't know, she's just a real tough, awesome, kick butt kind of chick. And I think that's cool. And, uh, you know, you also see sort of the relationship of her with Theoden. Uh, you see the relationship with her with, uh, with, with Aragorn as she, you know, realizes that he is going to kind of be with Arwen. But, I don't know, they have a nice... I think relationship uh, that that is is pretty interesting uh, that they really are friends and support each other and everything like that. And this one has the most highs and lows of, for me of the three movies. Uh, it's there, there were a lot of parts that I'm like, oh, well, let's move on from this Denethor. I don't like him. He's boring to me. And and then then there were so many parts where I was like, I love this so much. So I don't know, but it's it's still a really, really, really good movie. I really love this series. I think what Peter Jackson did was really phenomenal. I had so much heart and passion into it and you can just feel it. I love Howard Shore's music in all of these movies. I love cinematography and the way they work in the special effects in a seamless way. And so they feel natural and part of the environment. And that's one of the things in the Hobbit movies that really bothered me is that I felt like you could see a green screen and I never felt that way before in the Lord of the Rings. I, I felt it just was so like merged together. And maybe it's just because I was less engrossed in the story with the Hobbit movies. I was completely unengrossed, if that's a word. <laughs> and so I, I thought those movies were super boring. And so when you're really bored, you pay more attention to things like that. And so I, I do think this is probably my least favorite of the three, but I still really like it. Uh, and, um, so I'd probably give it like a B plus 
for this one. Uh, but it's still a really good movie and it's an amazing series. I still give the whole series, I give it an A+. Plus. I love it together as one movie and one experience as you watch them all. And uh, so, yeah, it's been really rewarding. And let me know what you think of Return of the King. Where are you at on it? And uh, yeah, what do you think of the whole series as a whole for Lord of the Rings? Thanks so much. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you later.